Is there anything else you'd like to discuss, my love? I knew we went that route. No, normally I have a little piece of paper that tells me what to say. <laughs> Ooh, let's go that. Let's go that really quick. I know we're not oh. gonna play. I know we're not gonna play this right now, but I, I do want to mention. Um, we will have this in the store on yeah, Friday. Yeah, this is one of those really cool things. So uh, I don't know if anybody is a fan of. Well, I'll just kind of go first. Of, first and foremost, Lincoln Park, because most people know Lincoln Park. Um, but this is, go ahead, you can say it, say it, honey, who is it? It's what? Gray Days. So but now, this, explain. This is early Chester Bennington from when he was playing in Phoenix. Um, this what? where? I know. Where? He, he is an Arizona boy, or was an Arizona boy, and, yes. And what do we have? We have, it is on CD, and this has two songs. It has What's in the Eye and Sickness. Um... This is really cool. If you purchase it at our store, inside you will find a coupon for three dollars that you can bring back to the store when the full album comes out. Yep. But it's really cool because it is one of those things that a lot of people, um, a lot of people don't know that Chester was in a ton of things that were out there. A lot of other bands, a lot of side projects. Um, yes. Well, I just saw the date of when it's going to be available. So the yes. new album is going is called Amends. Hmm? And it will be available April 3rd. Oh, what's April 3rd, honey? It's going to be your big birthday. Oh, Lord. Mm. Um, yeah. Oh, here comes Chris. Oh. Mm-hmm. How uh-huh. old are you going to be, honey? So this will be available <laughs> at Friday be at Weird Kid Records. No, he doesn't have to say it. Um, no, no. He's, he's I, been telling, I pardon you. I pardon you. He's been telling everybody today how old he's going to be. No, he doesn't have to. He's going to be five. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, right. Go ahead. Go ahead. You can say it. It it's, is. It's fine. I, because you know, when you add up the two numbers. No. <laughs> you be 32. That's fine. No. See? No, no. No. Five, but 51. No. I, I'm going to be 50. Yes. Um, I have somehow hit this plateau in oh, my you life. Don't, you don't That's a good that. thing. I know, but to me, that is huge. It um, is. It's a huge I, thing. You you made it. I Half a century, See? Hey. Look at that. Um, it, so, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll sidetrack here for a moment. When I was younger, I never, when I was dreaming, when I was probably um, in, my, in my early teens to my mid-teens, I, I could never see past 30. It was very strange. And I'm sure a lot of, a lot of the, you know, the younger generation, ironically, kind of our teenager, what have you, um, I don't know if they, they kind of dream that same way. Like, they can't see past a certain age. Of like they can. I'm sure, I'm, well, I'm sure they no. can, but not in the same. Not really. Um, you can't really. But I know that, it's like, with our, yeah, it is. It, it's a different world now. Um, I know for a fact that our teenager thinks he belongs. He was born in the wrong decade. There's a lot of kids that we meet that are what, that what, now. Like, yes. What decade? What decade is he want to be? He thinks he should have been from the '80s, which, uh, ironically, um, that's kind but of. But we've met me. kids that feel they should have been in the '50s and the '70s. Mm-hmm. It's, but that's the unique thing. That's cool. It, it is. Well, we talk about this a lot. Um, well, not as much as we used to, but I know um, it, this is the this is the craziest generation I've ever. I mean, obviously, I've grown up and. I'm going to be 50. Yikes. Uh, thanks <laughs> I think a lot that's for that. I said to every generation. Thanks, guys. Um, but no, this is really a cool generation. You guys, and I will say the younger generation, no matter where, what wins or how, if you are anywhere between, you know, one year old to 30, I'll even go 30. You guys grew up or are growing up in a generation where you can click on a button. And you can literally get everything in your fingertips. You can get movies, you can get music, you can get clothes, you can get anything you want. But you can also choose to grow up in any generation. You can grow up being 50s. You can dress 50s, listen to 50s, watch 50s movies, 60s, 70s, it's the magic 80s, of the 90s. Internet. It is. It's the, it is. It's, it's the internet generation. Mm-hmm. But it's, an, it's very interesting because a lot of people are not taking their their moment to live their own life. They're trying to live something that was already lived. And this is where you and I have that conversation where you can't change the past that already happened. But a lot of these kids nowadays think they can relive something that has already been done. Does that, you, you know, you and no, I have No, not necessarily. I mean, it's Go one ahead, of those explain. things that, 
Go ahead. The kids have, and it is the kids, the kids have this wonderful opportunity where they can pick whichever generation they wanted to be a part of. Mm -hmm. And they can actually do the research. They can find out what music. They can find out the style of clothing. Some of even the lingo that was used during that time. Oh, yeah. And they can... That's really, really a swell thing you're talking about. <laughs> it's it's it really crazy is. because you would, never, you would never think that you could do that. I mean... I say it a lot. Um, I mean, I wish I could have been able to do that. Yeah. Well, I say it just a lot. Just in a sense, because I remember growing Ooh. and being and loving a lot of the stuff from the 70s. I loved a lot of the 70s style when I was a teenager. Now I love more of the 40s and the 50s. I love the music. I mm -hmm. love the, the style, especially the women back then, the way that they used to dress, the way that they used to act. I love a lot of that, um, but especially the music. I love especially women's voices from then. Well, we live in a fast-paced world right now where you, I guess a lot of people use it as an out. They kind of use it as a moment to think and to, well, live or relive something that was a better time. And I guess that's kind of a way I can sum that up. It wasn't know. a better time, I'll tell you. Well, it, it, was it wasn't, it wasn't. It wasn't, it wasn't. I mean, it's, it's kind of like the technology aspect of things, things today. Things are better now than they were before. Absolutely. Oh, yeah. I mean, if you look at medical, medical is way better now than yeah. it's ever been. You look at technology, yeah. it's faster, it's quicker, it's, yeah. it's more, more at your fingers. But Sometimes I wish we, uh, we didn't have as much technology. Yeah, I, I was just talking to somebody the other day about, I, I remember being able to take a shower without not my phone, you know, without my phone going off and it being literally, you know, a foot from me going, oh, should I pick the darn thing up? Leaving the house and nobody Wait. knowing where I was until I wanted right. them you to. you know, know, going out and getting lost <laughs> because you didn't want to take the map out of your glove box. You know, I... Well, yeah, but, that, but the deal is, that, anyway... <laughs> These are all decisions. You, you don't have to take your phone. I go all, all, a lot of places with no phone. Right. Just leave it at home. I say, to hell with being plugged in. Yeah. And, and that's a decision. But that's I'll right. tell you, as a child of the 50s, you had no decision. You had no, you couldn't make a decision. True. You were trapped in the 50s. True. Oh, yeah. Bet for better or for worse. All right. <laughs> all right. So, I'm going I'm gonna to flip. What are we, what I know, I'm going to flip this one. I was going to play something else, but I, I decided to flip. So, I'm going to go to this album right here. This is ABC, and this is the Lexicon of Love. Because, of course, it is... Vinyl times. And we're playing... Vinyl. Uh, okay, good. All right. <laughs> What's vinyl? What's vinyl? Records? Very good. Okay. No, no, no. What is oh, it? it's plastic. It's plastic. Oh, darn it. He's, no, we'll bring this up in a second. <laughs> so I actually, okay, so I could play, and I'm going to ask Jess right here. Do you, well, first of all, do you want me to play a hit, or do you want me to play something that has probably never been on the radio before? Something that has never been on the radio. Awesome. Perfect. And guess what I'm going to play then? There is a track on I here. I have no idea. <laughs> There's a track on here called Valentine's Day. So I'm going to play Valentine's Day. Is it Valentine's or Vinyl Times? It's vi I, you know, we're going to have to listen. Maybe they do say Vinyl Times. <laughs> so here we go. This is ABC with Valen, Vinyl, Valen, Vinyl, Time, Valen, Valen, Time, whatever that is, is. <laughs> on 106.1 KURELP. Okay. 